Hi, in this movie, we're going to start talking about some light types in Maya. We're going to take a look at the ambient directional area point and spotlight. We'll also take a look at some common attributes and some specific attributes to certain lights. And also, we'll take a look at the IPR and how it works inside Maya. So, to access lights, I'll go to Create, Lights, and let's tear this. And the reason my scene is black right now is because I've turned this on over here. It says use all lights. And 7 is the hotkey for that. So right now there's no really lights in the scene. So let's start with making a simple ambient light. You can see the ambient light is immediately showing over here. And if I move it up, it's showing right over here. One thing I'm going to do at this point when I start making all these lights is I'm going to turn on something on the status line, which is called the IPR, which is this button right here. And IPR stands for Interactive Photorealistic Rendering. One thing to quickly note for the IPR is you want to go to your render settings right over here, and you do not want to have ray tracing turned on. So let's close that quickly. So the moment I open the IPR, you can see that my scene's rendered, and something over here shows me that select a region to begin tuning. So I'm going to pretty much select this entire region. And now wherever I move the light, you'll see that it's changing right there. You can see that it's a very, very fast and quick change. So it's a great way of viewing your lights and textures. If I go to the attribute editor for this light, control A, you'll see that the light has something called color. So if I change the color for the light right here, and you can see immediately the color changes over there. Then you also have something called, uh, let's select light again. You have intensity, which is the intensity of the light. Illuminates by default, pretty much shuts it off. And there are some other attributes over here like ambient shade. I would highly recommend going to the Maya help and reading about it. I'm going to delete this light and the next type of light I'm going to make is going to be the directional light. And the directional light has parallel light rays, and you can even tell that from the icon. So it's a great light type to simulate the sunlight right there. So you can see if I go in that direction, it's this is going to be kind of dark right there. Again, there's a lot of common attributes over here. You have your color, you have your intensity, illuminates by default. And there's also emit diffuse and emit speckler. So I would again highly recommend reading about this. So this one is going to turn off the diffuse component of uh, the light and this one's only going to show me the diffuse component. But in this one you saw that it only showed me the specular highlights over here. So that's your directional light. Then you have your point light which is pretty much like a light bulb. It goes in all six directions. Again a lot of common attributes, color intensity and these guys. DK is pretty much the fall off of light, and I really like to use that. Linear, quadratic, and cubic. But whenever you use these DK types, you would have to really increase the intensity of your light. But I would highly recommend using uh, DK on your scenes. Then you have the spotlight, which a lot of us have seen. It's like a light on that's someone singing on a stage, and you have a spot on that person. That's pretty much a spotlight. The way I like to make a spotlight is I simply like to make it this way and then go to panels, look through selected. And you can see that right now I'm going to minimize my IPR and I'm looking through the light and I can focus right here. The spotlight does have a few things. It does have all the common attributes but it has something called cone angle which is the angle of this cone. And let's also have the IPR over here. It has something called penumbra, so that's the cone right there. Penumbra will pretty much diffuse the light on the outside of the cone. So you can have a positive penumbra or you can have a negative penumbra. And then you have something called a drop-off right there, and you can see how the light is dropping off from the center to out. So really a great light, spotlight. And the last one I want to show you, let's quickly go to the camera over here is the area light and the area light pretty much lights within this area and you can see that there's a little normal that's pointing out I really like to use this one for if I'm doing an architectural scene for uh, for ceilings and stuff and you can also scale it